Hi, in this video we'll be looking at the procedure for a graceful shutdown and power up of a storage system during a scheduled power outage. This video is based on KB article 3011926. Now we'll see the procedure to bring a 7 mode system down. If the storage system is clustered, enter CF disable command. Notify disconnect and if needed, shut down all the connected CIFS and FS clients. If there are any hosts that have FCP or iSCSI based LUNs, shut them down before shutting down the storage system. Terminate CIFS with the command CIFS terminate. Run the halt command on the storage system command line interface. Allow the storage system to terminate data on tap and then go to OK, CFE or Loader prompt. For a cluster storage system, if you did not use CF disable, use halt -f -t command on each of the partners. Physically power down the head, then all the attached disk shelves as needed. Physically unplug the cables from the power supplies on the back of the storage system and shelves. This will avoid any electrical issues when external power is restored. Let's see the procedure to bring a cluster data on tap system down. Log into all nodes one at a time and run command halt exclamation local hyphen inhibit hyphen takeover true say yes. Each node might take several minutes to shut down. Each node should then reset and return to the loader prompt. If there is no console or RLM SP access, you should confirm the overall node down status before halting the final node using the system node show command. The last node is halted, you can safely power down everything. To bring the system back online, Reconnect all power cables if previously disconnected. Physically power up all disk shelves first. Wait for 30 seconds after the last disk shelf is powered on. Then power on the storage system head so that all disks will be available when they are required by the data on tap operating system. Verify the storage system is up. All services are running and network connectivity is present. If the cluster was disabled using CF disable, Enter CF enable and monitor with CF status command. We hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.